Hey, hey, lovelies. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to be doing, I feel like it's an extreme pantry organization. I'm not sure yet how it's going to go, but um, you can see that there is just really no rhyme or reason to the pantry. I mean, it is just insane. Since moving in um, and unpacking boxes that had non-perishable items, um, I really just put everything into the pantry. So um, a lot of times we were just rushed and just having to buy groceries when we got the fridge in. Uh, there just wasn't any method to organizing because I didn't have a lot of my organization canisters, things like that, and packs. So really it was just anything I was unpacking just to make space for it because we also didn't have our island. Um, I just was sticking in the pantry. So we are at a point right now where things are getting shuffled in the pantry. We have no idea what we have. We have no, um, things are not in, in it its own little section. It's really taking up a lot more space than it should just because it's not organized. So you can see that it is definitely, it is just a mess. I can't even say it's a hot mess because it is just, I mean, it just is a mess. It is beyond that stage. Um, when we're cooking dinner or even just meal prepping, it is at the point where we just don't know where anything is. So I am going to be organizing the pantry today and <clears throat> something that I feel like is just going to give me a little bit more peace <laughs> with this whole move-in process, especially now that renovations are done. So. Okay, so this is what we are working with. So the pantry is definitely a good-sized pantry, but it is smaller than the one that we had in Colorado. And how we accumulated this much stuff, I have no idea. But a lot of the stuff that was non-perishable was actually packed up and so um, as soon as I was unloading boxes um, I just basically shoved everything in here and so you can see that there is there's cans back there there's jars I mean there's no rhyme or reason to any of it there's coffee there's rice there but guess what there is rice snacks there kind of like vitamins and workout stuff there but then we also have vitamins down here I mean we are just oh and then I was sticking everything down here that was um, like storage things like that so I have to kind of pull everything out and set it into I think sections is gonna be the best way to do it um, that way I have like a clean slate to work with so Now that I've cleared out the entire pantry, I went ahead and picked up anything that was on the floor so that I can um, have a clean floor to go ahead and start vacuuming with. And of course, I'm using my favorite Dyson V7 vacuum. It's perfect for especially small places. You guys, this is my favorite. I'm, I'm literally obsessed with this steam mop that I just bought. It is a shark genius and the awesome thing is it only needs water so you put water in this little blue tank here and then you press the power button on it heats up and then it steams and that's it it basically attaches everything to this microfiber um, cloth that you see attached it has been a lifesaver saves so much time for mopping so after I went ahead and gave this pantry a quick vacuum and mop I went ahead and straightened out any of these liners that I had already placed on and if there was anything spilled on it I went ahead and cleaned it up 
And I decided I wanted to go ahead and have an outline for my pantry. So I kind of placed things where I thought I, you know, where they looked visually appealing. And so at least that way I have a baseline to work with. So now the hard part is actually purging a ton of stuff and then basically consolidating everything. And I found these awesome spice jars on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them in the description bar, but I just loved them. They're so perfect as far as the size. And then they came with these cute little um, tabs that you can write on. And I had so many spices that I needed to that I needed to go ahead and put into these uh, spice jars. But here I am using a plate because I do not have a funnel. Definitely when you are organizing, get creative with what you have around the house. But I went ahead and did this. And then you can see the mess that I was working with. I mean, I kind of felt like at this point, the halfway uh, point, I was getting somewhere. It started to look organized and put together, but still tons of stuff on the floor and on the island. Okay, so we are making progress. I know it doesn't look like it, but we really are. It was so much more cluttered, and I have my helpers. Say hi, girls. Uh, I'm Jordan. And I will show you what they are doing for me. They are putting all of the and then do seasonings and labeling them. I am in love with how this pantry came out. I knew that I wanted something very clean and put together. I wanted to incorporate a ton of white and um, this brass that you see with the canisters and just bring in some natural elements with the baskets. I love the way that it came out. And coming from Colorado where our pantry is so much bigger, I really needed to make use of this space. Um, but I think I did a great job with uh, everything here. I found these wire baskets at Walmart. So I just used that to put the lunch pails in. And then I also used these canisters for snacks so I left all of the snacks on this bottom shelf because I wanted uh, the kids to get to it very easy and I just got really creative with putting some packaged snacks in here um, here we have some of the granola and granola bars and then I used this canister for Logan's fruit snacks Pokemon of course because he is obsessed with Pokemon lately and then the large canister I used to put some other snacks like cookies, things that I can put into his uh, lunch box pretty easy, but also that are hidden so that that's not the first thing that he grabs when he goes into the pantry. So I put some goldfish and some Cheerios in these glass containers. I feel like they are great, especially if you want to just scoop them into a sandwich bag. Easy snack as well as these plastic bins I got from Walmart. I just used them for chips and popcorn and then I tried to use as many shelves as possible just to kind of stack some of the items that were a little bit larger or some you know things that could go on top of the shelves so these baskets I also got at Walmart and um, I used this uh, middle or this bottom shelf for the potatoes and onions just because they need to be stored in a dark place but I love the way that the spice rack came out and these canisters I got at Walmart as well. Again, I'll link everything in the description bar, but very inexpensive and perfect for protein, powders, um, oatmeal, just really whatever you need to use them for that will actually need to be sealed. So you can really do anything with your pantry uh, storage, especially if you have canisters um, in really just uh, sealable jars for, like I said, flour, cereal, things like that. But the end product I absolutely love. I <laughs> looks so different compared to what it was uh, before, but it is so much cleaner and put together and I still have a ton of space to add to it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little pantry makeover. As always, thank you and I will see you in the next one.